Will McCullough of Equity Safe is here, and he has real, a new real estate model to share with us. Welcome, Will. Hi, Betsy. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here today. We're glad to have you. So tell us a little bit about your background and a little bit about Equity Safe. Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, my background, first personally, I first came to the Low Country in 1993 to serve as a drill instructor for the Marine Corps at Paris Island. Uh, my wife and I loved the area, decided it was a great place to raise a family. I left the Marine Corps, and we've been involved in the real estate market in one way or another ever since, and uh, ever since 1997, as a matter of fact. Wow. Uh, Equity Safe Realty is a new model of a real estate company that we founded and started about a year and a half ago, and it's been doing really well. Well, tell us how it's different. Well, it's different in a few different ways. It's kind of a it's kind of a, a cornucopia of the different parts and pieces of different real estate entities that I've been with before that I thought really worked well. Okay. Uh, basically, I think of it like a stool. A stool normally has three legs. There's three different legs or support systems that kind of hold up the model that is our system, if that makes sense. It does make sense. So let's go through the three legs. Okay. Tell us about the first. Well, the first leg, and this is one I always want to make clear because it does. We do do things a little bit different within our organization. But the first thing that everybody out there. Should be aware of is that it's still a regular full service company. So there are entities out there within the real estate market that do things uh, that do things differently. Maybe they offer like a la carte services and they're more limited, limited service. So they're not necessarily a full service entity. Uh, I've been the top selling real estate agent at many different local agencies over the last 15 years. Okay. And the reason I mention that is because what we do at our company is the same level of service and the same things that I did at those companies. So the first leg of the stool is absolutely 100% full service to our clients and customers. Okay. Uh, the second leg of the stool is that we actually pay buyer agents more, uh, stereotypically, at least more than, than what one would be expect to be seeing. What that does is nowadays, the way technology works, real estate marketing is, is pretty comparable from listing entity to listing entity. You know, you list something, it goes in the MLS, the multiple listing system, right. and then from there, it's, it's put out to, you know, realtor.com, excuse mm -hmm. me, Trulia, Zillow, and all these third party sites. So a lot of the real estate marketing nowadays is kind of standard. One of the things that we can do to make a tangible, actual difference in the saleability of our clients' properties is to pay those that bring the buyers more, at least more than they'd expect. Normally, you know, real estate commissions are negotiable, and I'm sure you know that, sure. uh, but it's not uncommon, at least, for like a, a common commission that people might see is 6%. Using that 6% as an example, what happens with 6% is 3% of that commission, or half, is normally offered out to all the agencies in the area, uh, and that's paid to the buyer agency. So 3% goes to the buyer agencies, and 3% is kept with the listing agency. What we do different is we build in basically a bonus to enhance the fiscal saleability of our properties to all the buyer agents in the area. In short, we pay out 3.5%. So the first leg of the stool, absolutely full service. The second leg of the stool is how we increase the saleability of our properties pay out more, at least more than what people would normally expect, 3.5%, with the goal being that all of the other buyer agents in the area, both in the Buford area and Hilton Head and Bluffton areas, they, those agents normally, our goal is for them to make more, or at least very close to more, uh, selling our listings than they would even those from their own company. But the last leg of the stool, and it's really my favorite, is what we do on the listing side. Do you remember how I said, like a kind of a normal commission is often around 6%? It doesn't have to be, it can be five, it can be something else, but it, you remember that I mentioned it's not uncommon yeah, for a right. commission to be around 6%, am yes. I correct? Correct. Well, that's what we do is if we pay out 3.5%, on the listing side, as opposed to keeping what a lot of people would see as the normal, 3%, we do a flat rate of $29.99, $2,999, so effectively three grand. Three grand. Okay. So we pay, the, normally the consumer ends up paying significantly less than what they'd expect for the overall thing. Full service, pay out more of the buyer agents, and a flat $29.99 on, on our side. Sounds like a really exciting company. Thanks for sharing it with us, Will. We can't wait to have you back. Thank you for having me. It was really fun.